Car show clips, where a car is so much more than a set of wheels. My name is Wayne Farbaugh. I'm the manager and lead restoration specialist at Lenny's Classic Cars in Altoona, Pennsylvania. And uh, today we have a 57 Thunderbird, which belongs to Leonard Fiore. We have had this car for about 13 years. Because this is all restored. This is the original color. They call it uh, Dusk Rose. And uh, it was in pretty poor condition. We got it. It was red. It, it was just beat up. There was. Uh, three rocker panels on the side of it, just putty all through it, and uh, it took us a while. Um, we went to take it off the frame, the car folded in half on us, we had to rebuild the floors, rebuild the rod, you know, everything had to be redone. Um, and all the original expect, expects though, uh, we really uh, try to make sure everything's back to original as most of, as we can. Um, all the bumpers are original. Like I said, we just restore everything that we can. We don't buy new if we don't have to. And uh, Lenny, Lenny bought this car. He, he he always liked the '57 Thunderbirds. He's he's he likes uh, Thunder the style of the Thunderbird. And uh, he went and. Uh, went with uh, my manager at the time and they went to New Hampshire I believe it was and bought this car and uh, we've had it and it took probably uh, maybe a year year and a half to restore because it was in pretty bad shape uh, what they call a Y block it's a 3 a 312 Y block and it has a uh, automatic MFX transmission in it and uh, it was a it's a two four barrel car, which means it has two four barrels on top of the intake, which makes this an E-Bird, what they call is an E-Bird. It's a fairly rare, I mean, it's not super rare, but it is fairly rare. Three speed automatic uh, F FMX transmission, and uh, it was original for the car. Uh, really heavy transmission, steel casing, unlike today's that are aluminum casing. Um, but that was what they used in them originally, that, and that's the original transmission for the car. This is, this is a numbers matching car, so. Uh, bird's nest on this car, and it's uh, like a rumble seat. And uh, it was very, very rare. They, they started making them uh, in 1957 only. It was a 1957 only option. But uh, what happened was they stopped production on them. They couldn't sell them, they weren't doing great. Um, and there's really, to our knowledge, we really don't even know maybe one, maybe two even exist anymore today. And uh, we, we've had the main main guy from Ford come down and actually looked at our car to, to authenticate it and tell us that, that, yeah, that is what it is. And uh, he's never, he, he himself had never even seen one personally. So very, very rare option. It's famous for the opera windows, right? Yes, it was. Uh, and everybody loves the movie Hollywood Nights. Uh, it's what it reminds me of every time I see it, you know, Susie and Summers riding down the road looking out the opera window in the side. So it has, this has the hard top on it right now. It also has a convertible top. The chrome is uh, all original pieces, but we've had them re-chromed. Place in Jeanette PA, uh, M&P refinishing, does all of our chrome work for us. As you see, there's a lot of chrome on this car. It takes a lot of chrome, a lot of money to restore something like that. The paint is, is called Dusk Rose. It's a pale pink, which is called Dusk Rose. It's a Ford factory color. The wheels are a... Uh, 15-inch uh, Kelsey Hayes wheel with the turbine uh, hubcaps that Ford came out with and put on many models of cars. That's the original color for the interior. According to the build sheet on the car, uh, this is uh, exactly how uh, the car was built uh, with the white interior. 
I don't really believe they call it white, but it's uh, like an off-white color. Um, the steering wheel was always painted. Um, it would have either been black or white or uh, even in some instance maybe a color of the car. Uh, if you had a blue or, or something like that, uh, some of them did come in that color. Um, ours was white, so we put it back to white. The car was uh, hit in the rear end and the rumble seat was was broken in the rear end. Uh, it was bent and dented, so uh, I had to repair it. Pretty much all there. We didn't have to buy anything for it. It was all there. Um, and the the seat in the rumble um, actually matches the seat in the in the driver's seat. Also, it, it's sectioned out just like the driver's seat. But it was basically made for kids. It's not really something you'd put a, a full-grown person in. It's kind of tight back there. We do get to take them out quite a bit. We do uh, inspect all of, our, all of our cars are inspected and ready for the road. Everything's driven. Nothing just sits in there. So uh, I know every little niche, every little thing that's wrong with the car. You know how to get it to start right. How to, you know where other people have problems. I I know how everything works. This is a great car. It's a nice driver. You always get a lot of looks. And uh, this is a favorite. This is one of the favorite cars that he has. Uh, uh, being that it is an American car, and you know, people relate to that a lot. Lenny does specialize in uh, most of your British cars. Uh, we have uh, in the collection there's Rolls Royce, Bentley, Jaguar, uh, Aston Martin. Uh, MG Triumph, and he he loves his British cars. They, you know, he loves the styling that the British cars had, and uh, he also loves the styling of the Thunderbird because the Thunderbird had style back then, whereas some cars didn't. So, it really outsold Corvette very really fast when they started bringing them out because they were so stylish, and it was just it was the car that people wanted at the time. Uh, the price range on this car. Uh, be given, given the rarity of the uh, the bird's nest uh, in the back um, is somewhere in the in the neighborhood of a hundred to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Car loans probably worth about a hundred, and then with bird's nest, it does bring it up quite a bit. Um, being is so rare. We don't get anything at the car shows. You know, there's no no uh, monetary awards or anything like that. But what we do get is is uh, the satisfaction of knowing that we have some of the best cars in the United States. Um, uh, you know, including uh, seven of them that are North American champions. And really, I mean, if if you get a chance, you know, even look us up on Facebook or something. You know, we're we're on Facebook at uh, Lenny's Classic Cars, Altoona, PA, and uh, uh, I mean, you can see the view the collection there. Hey, and and thanks for viewing our car today. This remember, this is Lenny Fury's car at Lenny's Classic Car Collection in Altoona, and my name is Wayne. And and thanks a lot for show, letting us show you our our beautiful car. our growing collection on Facebook at Car Show Clips and online at VintageCarStudios.com where you can commission our unique artwork. Enjoy the memories and the machines.